Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Showcase. Today, it's 8th grader Uriel, and he made a sweet car. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So if you haven't figured this out, as much as I'm a YouTuber, I'm also an educator. I love seeing you take skills and then make them your own. So this is a F-22 Raptor I made, and if you watched me make it in a video, you saw that I checked the picture back and forth, back and forth, as I tried to make the shape as realistic as possible. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because yesterday I got to watch 8th grader Uriel use the same strategy to make his own Model T. Uh, he was done with his normal work. As I walk by, I see the picture picture on the screen and then he instantly switches to the next one and when I saw him all he had was this front part of the frame and then throughout the day on his Chromebook in other classes he was able to wrap up his own awesome Model T. I don't think there is anything cooler than to be able to see somebody say I want and therefore I create and just make awesome things. Historical plates, sweet wheels, this whole design is just so slick. Little parts coming together to make the final product look just like you'd like it to. I'm also finding more and more students using the sweet little notes to leave me notes inside. So Uriel actually shared with me here that the crank start was used from the 1890s until 1919 when it was finally replaced with the starter key. The second thing I'd like to share with you was also created by an 8th grader. I'm not quite sure what this is. It is an engine and Leo has added all kinds of awesome notes about the engine. I don't know the name of this company so when I searched it that didn't help me but check out this sweet engine creation he has created and Leo has added tags letting us know what each piece is. So I think this could be fictitional but it's also such an amazing use of all these cool parts. Speaking of all the cool shapes you can build with, friends, I do want to remind you, I've got this video available that has a Jamboard built in. In that Jamboard, I have put all the menus from the all shapes. So if you're ever trying to figure out what you can build with, you can make a copy of this Jamboard and then you'll always be able to look at it and use it as a reference so you can find the parts you want to build. Jamboards are also a fantastic tool for planning what you're going to create while you're working in Tinkercad. Friends, I want to wrap up by reminding you if you ever make something awesome you can hit that collaborate button you can generate a link you can copy the link you can reach out to me almost instantly using Facebook Instagram or Gmail I am HL mod tech on all three of those you can also find me on Twitter I am HL tinkercad if those don't work friends don't forget we also have hlmodtech.com I have a tinkercad page with all the amazing tinkercad lessons and a sweet messaging button that you can click on fill out send me a share link and reach out to me almost instantly of course, friends, I got to end by saying thank you so much, Uriel and Leo, for creating your awesome creations. This stuff is so much more fun when you guys are sharing the cool things you're creating. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.